And last night on our video podcast, I on Big Brother, we were joined by Hall of Famer Tully. She's an ex-housemate. But when she had her turn in the house, she was heavily criticised for falling in love with a man when she had previously been with a woman. Here's what she had to say about the backlash. You entered the show in a relationship with a woman and you did end up in a relationship with a man. And Australia watched that unfold. Some people could blame you when it came to Drew because, you know, he's a good-looking guy. He's a good-looking rooster, as they say. But but, uh, what was the blowback for you coming off the show, (laughs) considering that that relationship evolved in front of the nation? Yeah, it was immense. Um, I knew it would be be pretty tough. I probably didn't realise just the gravity of the situation. Um, I remember the psychologist when I was first off stage with Sonia said to me, look, there's been a lot of backlash, um, both from the public and from the media. Um, He had to let me know that there was a Facebook group with like 60,000 members that like were posting death threats and horrible memes about me. Um, Worse than that, you know, I was called name in the streets. I had paparazzi stalking me. Um, I had, uh, countless online trolls, Twitter trolls, Facebook trolls. I was getting awful emails sent to me. My family were copying it. So yeah, it, it was um, it was pretty severe. Look, this got us thinking, if you are part of an, um, a minority, do you have an obligation to act in a certain way? Ben, what are your thoughts? This affects the, um, the gay community. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's really interesting. Some valid points being brought up by Tully. Very intelligent woman, I must say. When it comes to reality TV shows, producers are usually looking to tell a story about one LGBTI person as a reflection of society. And what tends to happen is there is a backlash from the queer community that they don't feel like they're being represented by that one person's story. And there's some validity in that because when it comes to any LGBTI person, there is millions there's probably billions of different stories about different diverse parts of our culture and I, oh not mainly culture but it's probably the wrong term but you know queerism you know and so look sometimes there's blowback from queer people saying hey tully you're not representing my bi uh or my queer space you know i don't, I don't resonate with that how dare you go on that show and say you're representing me These people aren't representing. I never represented the queer community by being on Big Brother. Like, I just was my own story. And that does not necessarily mean that I'm a spokesperson for the queer community. Do I get, am I the right person to be answering all questions about queer things? Absolutely not. I mean, I've got a friend of mine who's immersed in the LGBTI community. That's his life, that's his passion. And when anyone comes to me with questions about, you know, pronouns or the LGBTI and what they all stand for, I direct them to my friend Dina Curry. And I'm like, do you know what? Speak to someone who is all over this. But just because I was on a reality television show doesn't, and the same with Tully, doesn't mean that our behaviour reflects the community. Robbo, is it hypocrisy to say we want representation, we want to be true to ourselves, we we don't want to be judged, and yet the first thing that happens when someone of the community goes on and doesn't play to the narrative that they want, because obviously that lesbians don't want to be seen as uh, being able to go from men to women, but Tully is bisexual. So why isn't she allowed to be herself? Why does this radical group within a community, and it happens in all groups, um, why, why, why is she not allowed to live her life the way she wants to? Why is the onus put on her to behave in a certain way to represent the, the, the community? Uh, yeah, a, a very good question. I think that the, the gay community, and I'm encompassing all of the uh, the letters there, um, they, they've done very well. We've done very well, I should say. We've done very well. Uh, I, I think it comes down to, though, inside that community, like you say, it's it's also not very nice. It's, it's very, you're too gay, you're too femme, you're too fat, you're too thin. Um, you know, all of these things happen within that community, which is really bad, and that's what we're seeing here with Tully. Um, it, 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 the community is pretty rough. I, I think, though, that we all have a responsibility because all of the people who have gone before us and have made, you know, uh, you know such massive leap forwards for us, um, they should be respected and there should be a responsibility for that. Um, so I think that you've got to be supportive of the minority um, but you shouldn't have to act a certain way. Yes. Um, I think the biggest problem is allies, really. I, there are there have been next to no 
uh, examples that I can think of where I was really offended by being a gay man about what a joke was said or something said or whatever. I just wasn't. And I think that's that's really evident in a lot of different minority groups is it's not actually the, anyone in the group that gets offended or that goes on this rampage. It's people who go, well, I'm an ally, I'm a straight person, but, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't say that, you shouldn't do that. We'll decide or I will decide what I find offensive. I will live my life mm. the way I want to live my life. Don't tell me what to do and, 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 and don't fight a fight for me that I'm not fighting myself. And, you know, it, to me, and <clears throat> as a straight guy, you know, although this is two and a half gays, um, the, the thing that gets me is that there's always fringe groups that wreck any cause. <clears throat> and when you see people having a go at people like Tully or it's never good enough, it's never good enough, and it actually gets the mainstream offside. Because yes. when, you know, like, I always think you need to bring mainstream along for the ride to get real significant change. It's the Ben, Rob and Rob, oh, Ben, Rob and Rob, oh, Shen, Rob and Rob.